Odometer gears create an FAQ to help people fix the parking brakes in their BMW and Rolls Royce. Here's a list of tools that you need, very basic. This is a very easy process. First thing you want to do is remove the four screws that hold the cover on so you can get to the gears. Once the screws are removed, remove the cover and that will reveal the broken gears. Simply start cleaning those up and then proceed to take a, a T20 and remove the screw from the middle of the assembly that will release the threaded rod that we want to get out of there. And you might want to keep that screw separate so you don't mix it up with the others. Simply just lift the little metal flange out and set that aside also. Then after you've unscrewed the threaded rod, you can pull the secondary gear out. And as you can see, it's hard to see in the video, but there are also some hairline cracks on that one. So we prefer to replace that also. Then you have to press out the shaft. To do that, we've supplied a one inch nut with the threads already drilled out so that it fits in perfectly. And to be used as a press tool, it'll only fit on the metal flange underneath. So you just assemble that together, slide it into your press. In the video we're showing a quarter inch ratchet extension. At this point I'd prefer that you use the smallest quarter inch socket that you have. Something that really gets tight in the middle of the shaft and gives room for the peened over section to unfurl itself. That will prevent you from breaking the top piece. The shaft is peened in at the factory. Insert the mounting piece into the new larger gear. Make sure the teeth line up and have that little crescent piece on top of your bench vise. Once that's in position, you can bring the jaws of the bench vise in and press the, the flange into the gear. You don't have to go 100%, just you'll feel the press bottom out and you can stop there, usually leaving between a 16th and an 8th inch sticking out. As you see, you can see a little bit sticking out, it does not have to be 100%. The little gear you have to press out. Take, I use a 7 inch, 7 eighths inch deep socket and put it in my bench vise and just slowly press the metal shaft through the gear and it'll come right out. Then to put the new gear in, just take the insert, get it started with your fingers, then use your deep socket again and place it in the vise and you can press it on. Again, just like the larger gear, you don't have to go 100% in, just go till the vise feels like it bottoms out, go just a little bit long, a little bit more, and that should be good. Like the other one, you can see a little bit sticking out, that's fine. The first one's very simple, just put it right back on its shaft, line the teeth up with the worm gear, and that's all you need. The second one, we have to reassemble the whole threaded rod. So first goes on the first flange, and we want to press that on. We don't want to just hand put it on. So get your press set up, and just gently bring your hydraulic press down so that that base goes back onto the shaft 100%. You'll feel the pressure on your hydraulic press increase, that's how you know you can stop. Then take it back out and we're going to put on the bushing or the or the bearing back onto the shaft. And you may want to end up after it's pressed on you may want to come back with a little bearing grease 
and spread it around in that area so that way that when you put the gear on next it'll move smoothly and freely there will be some resistance it won't be free free spinning but you don't want it binding So we'll bring the bearing back down and again 100% on there so it's flush with the flange below it. And this is where you put a little grease on if needed. Take your new gear assembly and slide it on and make sure it spins smoothly. Then what we want to do is press the top piece back on and you want to make sure that you don't go on 100% where it's starting to have friction on the gear assembly that will prevent the gear from turning. So if you do go too far, just simply press it back out just a hair. Use a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill a hole through the side. Make sure you go all the way through to the center shaft. That way the spring pin will hold both pieces in place to prevent slippage. In the video we're using a 3 16 drill bit. You can just use an eighth though. just gently tap your spring pin in make sure it goes all the way in and flush make sure everything else is right because once this is done that's it after that reinsert it into the assembly just screw it back down in there once screw it as far as you can get it line up the teeth on the two top gears that it engages and it should drop right in and don't forget to put that little metal flange back in with the T20 to lock the uh, shaft from coming out.